There's no such thing as a bad idea. Well, except for these. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dumbest inventions. And it increases your cup size two full cups. But then it goes down. Yeah. For this list, we're taking a look at products that sound too bizarre to exist, but they do. People are waiting to tee off. There's no restroom out here. Has this happened to you? I've got the perfect gift. Number 10, Hawaii chair. And I'm going to get yours started oh, geez, right please, now. What's happening? Uh, no. Whoa. First. Wait a minute. What, what does this have to do with Hawaii? If you're stuck in an office all day, finding the time to work out can be a struggle. The Hawaii chair, also known as the hula chair, is intended to kill two birds with one stone. With the appearance of a regular desk chair, this invention possesses a rotating seat that mimics a hula dance. This is truly the machine that takes the work out of your workout. <laughs> Users can exercise their whole body without even standing up. At least that's what the infomercial implies. As far as fitness equipment goes, the Hawaii chair is hardly a substitute for the treadmill or elliptical. On top of that, it's too rambunctious to function in a quiet workplace environment. Imagine answering the phone or using the computer while riding a tilt-a-whirl. It's bound to end badly. If you can sit, you can get fit, the Hawaii chair. Number nine, lipstick stencil. Do you have trouble applying lipstick? Well, even if you do, we would not recommend wasting your money on a lipstick stencil. You're a whore. Wear your whore makeup, you whore. This Japanese product is supposed to prevent lipstick from bleeding outside the lines of your lips. By strapping the uncomfortable headgear to your face, you can use the mouth-shaped outline to keep lipstick inside the lip area. Acostumbrate a llevarlo siempre como una segunda piel. Apparently, the people behind this ridiculous invention have never heard of lip liner. Aside from being inefficient, the lipstick stencil looks like it was designed to restrain Hannibal Lecter. Apparently, Lewis had murdered a transient and done things with the skin. Of course, if you ever come across one of these eyesores, you can always use it to carve a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. Number eight, the Floby. A lot of kids like trendier haircuts. They like it very short here mm -hmm. and then long. Right. Or any variation on that. Getting a haircut might be a hassle, but buying a Floby isn't exactly a superior alternative. Invented by Rick E. Hunts and patented in 1986, this vacuum cleaner attachment claims that it allows users to give themselves quick, precise haircuts. Now you can maintain your favorite haircuts at all time. The problem is it's not very quick or precise, and some would argue that it doesn't even really cut hair. While many have complained that Flowbees are ineffective, two million devices were sold by the year 2000. This invention is so notorious that it was actually parodied in Wayne's World. It's just a trim, don't buzz me, all right? <laughs> Instead of the Flowbee, though, it was appropriately titled the Suck Cut. As you can see, it sucks as it cuts. <laughs> it certainly does suck. Number seven, the better marriage blanket. It's the problem in the marriage bed that no one likes to talk about. Maybe that's why they call it silent but deadly. Couples get divorced for a variety of reasons, although we highly doubt flatulence is among the leading causes. How many times have you farted in bed and held my head under the covers? That's completely different. Yeah, it's different, Mom! This product is so ludicrous that you would swear it's from a fake Saturday Night Live commercial. Offending molecules are absorbed before anyone knows they're there. We assure you, though, the better marriage blanket is all too real. If you or your spouse lets one rip in bed, this comforter will miraculously absorb the fart. It even contains a layer of carbon-activated fabric. So does that mean it can also be used as protection against chemical warfare? Regardless, if you want to freshen up your stinky love life, maybe just lay off the beans and asparagus. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Don't do that! What am I doing? Don't fart in the bed! Number six, the wine rack. This is the wine rack! Some people call it a beer bra, but we're a little classier around here, so this is the wine rack! Did you ever wish there were an easier way to drink wine on the go? then the wine rack is the brassiere for you. This outrageous invention is kind of like a camelback for vino fans. 
Instead of a backpack that carries water, however, it's a bra that carries wine. We wear the same size. <laughs> the wine rack can hold up to 25 ounces, which is essentially one bottle of wine. If that's not enough to quench your thirst, a wine glass holder necklace can also come in handy. Of course, if you use either of these items on a regular basis, you may want to check into the nearest rehab facility or at least attend an AA meeting. And you can be talking to a teacher and go, Careful. he got a what? You know, or good kick, baby, and you're sucking on the thing. Number five, the Euro Club. This is a trademark patent pending product that functions as a self contain receptacle. You're on a golf course having the greatest game of your life when all of a sudden nature calls. Fear not, the Euro Club will resolve your potty emergency. But it's a potty emergency. The ads for the Euro Club promise a quote, discreet, sanitary way for your urgent relief. However, there's nothing discreet about peeing into a golf club with a receptacle built into the grip. The Euro Club comes with a towel and appears that you are just checking out your club. Leak-proof, easy to clean, and no embarrassing moments. Covering yourself with a towel isn't going to fool anybody either. It's also worth pointing out that public urination is illegal in most places. Let's let's not talk about illegal, mister. I like to pee on little boys. You know, it was an empty playground in the middle of the night. Well, that's even weirder. You're better off seeking out the nearest toilet, especially if it comes equipped with a potty putter. Seriously, why do inventors keep associating golf with the bathroom? Leak-proof, easy to clean, and no embarrassing moments. Order now and get a second Euro Club for half price. The Euro Club, the only club in your bag guaranteed to keep you out of the woods. Number four, the Neck Pro. Slide on the head halter and tighten by pulling the chin straps forward and attaching to the Velcro around the chin. At first glance, this invention might look like a torture device or a really weird sex toy. Believe it or not, it's actually intended to reduce neck pain. But we wouldn't be surprised if somebody used the Neck Pro for autoerotic asphyxiation. Here's how this traction device supposedly works. First, attach the bracket to a door. Second, sit up against the closed door and put your head in the chin straps. Third, pull the cord to adjust tension. Finally, sit and relax for several minutes. Although we're not sure how anybody could possibly relax under these circumstances. Sorry, but we'll take our chances with a chiropractor over this accident waiting to happen. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not, it's not. Number three, the car exhaust grill. Why stop at a drive through restaurant when you can just fire up the car exhaust grill? Sure, you might contract a fatal disease, but at least the burger will taste rancid. Invented by Ruhola Merikpour of Iran, this device attaches to your car's exhaust pipe. Oh no! There's no exhaust pipe! That's right! Thanks to Ed Begley Jr.'s electric motor! After putting a raw, beefy patty inside the grill, all you need to do is drive around and let the heat cook the meat. While the creators claim that the fumes will travel away from the burger, we have a hard time believing this accessory is 100% sanitary. Apply it to the inside of the exhaust pipe and you should have enough time to walk away before the fun starts. Suddenly, fast food is starting to sound like a healthy option. Number two, the goldfish walker. If you have a goldfish, you should avoid putting its tank in direct sunlight. This not only creates a large amount of algae, but can also cause the water temperature to rise and overheat your fish. Fishy, wake up, wake up! Oh no! We wonder if Mick Madden knew this when he invented the goldfish walker a middle-aged metal worker from northern England. Madden felt that his two little fishies, Malcolm and Ethel, needed to get out and see the world. Klaus, you're an outside fish now. Not cool, bro. I'm a fish. Thus, he attached a fishbowl to a trolley to create a portable aquarium. Now, his fishy friends can experience the great outdoors like dogs, although it's safe to say that Madden is the real fish out of water. Oh, forget it, Daddy. I can't take a goldfish on a walk. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. My little darling Penny, you are so precious. Now let's take a look, that's... Cush maintains a more natural shape while resting on your side. No straps, no underwires, no constraint. Number one, the baby cage. Thank you! <laughs> Is this for when we buy the baby a dog? Oh, 
It's a baby cage. It's a good one, too. We're as shocked as you are that this invention actually existed. Initially patented by Emma Reed in 1922, the baby cage wasn't a bestseller in America. Gee, isn't that surprising. In 1937, however, this death trap was distributed to the Chelsea Baby Club in London. Yes, I know that this looks really bad, but I, I promise you kind that of a baby. Sick bastard puts a baby in a cage. The idea was to attach these cages to apartment windows so infants could get some fresh air. After all, it's not like parents can just take their babies for a stroll outside. Toddlers are much better off playing in a wired cage with their fate literally hanging in the balance. Seriously though, if a parent were caught with a baby cage in this day and age, we have a feeling that Child Protective Services would get a call. I think you might. Once you look up there. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the dumbest invention ever? When finished, just pull the chin straps away from the Velcro. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I could wax. No. Oh.